Good evening. 2.40 in the morning. February 18th, Black History Lesson Part 18. And today's topic is natural hair. Natural hair right here. Alright. Alright. Let's get started. Did you know last year on this exact date in 2019, February 18th, New York, this city in basically New York State law has passed a law that states that no job shall discriminate, no matter that no work of employment shall discriminate against any melanated individual's hair. Like, if your hair is nappy, if your hair is in braids, if your hair has an afro, or if your hair is a mess, you are allowed to get a job, you are allowed to get an interview, you are not allowed to be discriminated in lose an opportunity for a job based on how your hairstyle looks. This is exactly for black people only because only black people go through that discrimination and this has been passed out in New York City. I've been waiting for February 18th to come because this right here is black history. Right? Now, if you've seen a lot of news, you've seen um, recent news, there was a young kid that was denied to walk across the stage because he had locks. There was a kid about two years ago, I believe, that was not allowed to wrestle unless he had his hair cut. The referees took a pair of scissors and cut his locks, all of it, and then he was able to wrestle. There was a kid that wasn't allowed a job opportunity over at Six Flags, I believe it was. Now he models. A young, handsome young dude, he's a model now. For a particular um, for a particular modeling agency, I'm telling you, within those guidelines for the equal employment opportunity, if any job has to show any type of discrimination towards your hair, like my hair, see my hair has to be taken out. You know, this is on um, hair growth and all that. Had my box space for two months and all that, so I'm gonna take them out soon. But if an employee were to discriminate against me, like right now my job has said that I have to go home and never to come back because my hair is not neat and proper or fresh cut, that employment, that employee, er, that employer can face a penalty to about $250,000. The whole company can face a penalty, a minimal penalty of $250,000 for discriminating against an employee due to their hair. So, any if any job that you're at and you're black and you have braids and they tell you to cut it off, or you have lovely, natural, kinky, nappy hair and they tell you to cut it off because it's not appropriate for the work environment, unless it's the food industry, go to Human Rights Services and report that job and have them get a lawsuit against them for discrimination. More laws need to pass, like, more laws literally have to pass through our America right now. I think in February 12th or yesterday or I don't know what date it was, a law was passed in a different state for the same thing where they cannot discriminate against your head. You know what I'm saying? I love it. So, um, yes, this is black history. This is a win for black people with natural lovely hair. This is a win for black people who are refused to cut their hair because their hair is just more than just a DNA. It's the definition of what it means to be a real, melanated, strong human being. February 18th, 2019, last year, the law in New York City, in New York State, has passed out a law where employees cannot be sent home. Employees cannot lose their job. No employee shall discriminate against any black individual with natural hair, under braids, dreadlocks, of course, which is even for religious purposes, a messy hair day, an afro, whatever. We have the rights to work just like any other individual, because it's just hair. Anyway, it's your voyages of the prodigy, and I'm out. Peace.